Hello and welcome to this lecture of Highway Engineering. In this lecture, we are going to solve some of the previous year questions on CBR and plate load test that have been appeared in GATE. So, this first question says that California bearing ratio CBR is a measure of soil strength is a procedure of designing flexible pavements, is a method of soil identification, is a measure to identicate the relative strengths of paving materials. Alright, so if you recall our CBR test, it says that this test was developed for evaluating the strength of subgrid soil and other pavement materials for the design and construction of flexible pavements. So among all the four options, the fourth option is correct. That is. CBR is a measure to indicate the relative strengths of paving materials. Alright, so this next question says that the modulus of subgrade reaction is evaluated from, I think you know the answer. Plate bearing test was originally devised to find the modulus of subgrade reaction in Westergaard's analysis for wheel load stresses in rigid pavements. Alright, so first option is correct, that is plate bearing test. Okay, so this next question says that a plate bearing test was carried out on a subgrid using a 76 cm diameter rigid plate. A deflection of 1.25 mm was caused by a pressure of 0.84 kg per cm square. The modulus of subgrid reaction in kg per cm cube is... Alright, so if you remember in plate load test, we always do plate load test on two standard plates that is 30 cm and 75 cm but here we are given a plate of 76 cm diameter therefore we have to do a correction for a standard plate of 75 cm diameter and we will do it by applying this formula called Ka equals to K1A1 where K and A are models of subgrid reaction and radius of standard plate and K1A1 are modulus of subgrade reaction and radius of the plate to be corrected. So, first of all, we have to find out the modulus of subgrade reaction for 76 cm diameter plate. That is, K1 equals to P divided by delta, which will be equal to 0.84 divided by 0.125. You have to just make sure that all the units are same and the value after solving it will come out to be 6.72 kg per cm cube. Now you have got the models of subgrade reaction for uncorrected plate or for 76 cm diameter plate. Now you have to find out the models of subgrade reaction for 75 cm diameter plate and you will find it out by applying this formula called K equals to K1A1 divided by A that is 6.72 into 76 divided by 75 which will give you 6.81 kg per cm cube, which is the answer for this question. Our next question says that in using the data from a plate bearing test for determining the modulus of subgrid reaction, the value of settlement to be used is, if you remember or if you recall our plate bearing test, the pressure P corresponding to a settlement of 0.125 cm is read and the k value is calculated by the relation which is equal to k equals to p divided by 0.125. Therefore, the value of delta is 0.125 cm. Here, a option is correct, that is 1.25 mm. Next question. This question says that the unit for coefficient of subgrade modulus is. So, if you remember our third question, the unit of modulus of subgrid reaction were kilogram per centimeter cube. So if you replace the length unit of centimeter by meter, the units will come out to be kilonewton per meter cube, which is the first option. Alright, this question says that the total thickness of pavement by CBR method depends on the CBR value of Alright, I'm um, again repeating this line that the CBR test was developed to evaluate the strength of subgrade and other pavement materials for the design and construction of flexible pavements. So I think you know the answer that is subgrade. Alright, this question says that 
plate bearing test with 20 cm diameter plate on soil subgrade yielded a pressure of 1.25 into 10 raised to the power 5 newton per meter square at 0.5 cm deflection. What is the elastic modulus of subgrade? If you remember a formula from plate bearing test which included the modulus of elasticity is a formula of finding out theoretical relationship of deformation under a rigid plate of radius A. Therefore, delta that is the deformation is equal to 1.18 PA divided by E where P is the pressure, A is the radius and E is the modulus of elasticity. So put the value of P, A and delta in this equation and find out the value of E. Just make sure that all the units are same before you do the calculations. So E will be equal to 1.81 into 1.25 into 10 raised to the power 5 into 0 0.1 into 100 divided by 0 0.5. And the value of E will come out to be 29.5 into 10 raised to the power 5 newton per meter square. Which is the second option. Alright, this question says that the plate load test conducted with a 75 cm diameter plate on a soil subgrade yielded a deflection of 2.5 mm under a stress of 800 newton per cm square. The modulus of elasticity of the subgrade soil is... So it's the exact same question as we did just now. That is, you have to apply this formula E equals to 1.18 PA divided by delta and put all these values and find out the answer. I want you to do this question by yourself and write the answers in the comment below. Alright, this next question says that a subgrade soil sample was tested using standard CBR apparatus and the observations are given below. That is, load and penetration values are given. Assuming that load penetration curve is convex, the CBR value of the sample is. Alright, so if we recall our CBR test, we always found the CBR value at 2.5 and 5 mm penetration and 2.5 and 5 mm penetrations are given as load sustained by the specimen at 2.5 or 5 mm penetration divided by the load sustained by the standard aggregate at 2.5 or 5 mm penetration in 200 and we know that these CBR values are always in percentage. So before solving this question I want to tell you that load sustained by standard plate at 2.5 mm penetration is 1370 kg and load sustained at 5 mm penetration value is 2055 kg. So you just have to put the values and find out the CBR values like this. That is CBR value at 2.5 mm penetration will be equal to 60.5 divided by 1370 into 100. After solving this, 4.4% will come out and CBR at 5 mm penetration value will be 80.5 divided by 2055 into 100 and 3.9% will it give. So the higher value of CBR which is obtained at 2.5 mm penetration is adopted, that is 4.4%. Alright, this last question says that during a CBR test, the load sustained by a remolded soil specimen at 5 mm penetration value is 50 kg. The CBR value of the soil will be, I want you to do this last question by yourself. It is very simple, it's as same as we just did right now. And comment the answers below. I would love to get a response from you. And after this, we will start a new subject of civil engineering. Thank you.